like the yield mapping, that's a simple, a simple thing to do. The difficult thing is, and as I've said before, it's a bit like ag porn. You get really pretty pictures, but you're not quite sure what to do with them. And, that, and that's, been a, that's been a real issue of really what to, how to deal with it, and that's sort of the nickname for it. Precision agriculture is increasing profitability and efficiency, and the technology is easier to use than ever before. Utilizing yield map data collected on his farm is taking on a high priority for Australian grower David Brownhill. There's a lot of um, businesses uh, popping up in Australia who analyse the information and then come back and, and report to you about it. And I think that's going to be the way of the future. The farmer, it likes the here and now decision making process. A lot of farmers don't actually take the information back and get the best out of it. And I'm one of those farmers at this stage. We use bits and pieces of it, but I think when we get a full service industry around precision ag, it'll be far easier. But what we have done though, we've gone into a full controlled traffic system. So the guidance system has allowed us to do that. Prior to guidance, we actually marked out our whole farm with a marker bar. Um, we're, on, we're on 30 foot equipment or nine metres. Our whole farm's on, on 30 foot increments. So the planter's 30 foot, the sprayer's 90 foot, the header's 30 foot. And then when we're, all the vehicles travel in the same tracks and all the, all the wheel spacings on our vehicles are 120 inches or three metres in our, in our language. So we're, it's a full controlled traffic system and the guidance allows us to interrow plant each crop and it allows us to have the, the repeatability, I guess, of the tracks. The soil we're in, is, it's a black heavy clay, so the tracks do get deeper and deeper. We have to manage that every so often. Um, but that's been really the, the biggest breakthrough for us. We have used some, some um, of the yield maps to go back and, and apply some fertiliser in some different ways, but at this stage that's probably the biggest gain for us is the controlled traffic system. Most of our fallows, and we, because we live in such an erratic rainfall, most of, we have to have a fallow length um, and usually to, to get enough moisture in the soil to grow the next crop. So we might have fallow lengths of six, nine, in some cases 15 months long. So to keep those fallows clean, you can either cultivate or you can use no-till and herbicides. Well, we've gone down the no-till path. It gives us the maximum amount of water. So therefore we use herbicides, um, but most of our fallows only have 17% weed cover, but we were still spraying 100% of the fallow. So hence where the weed seeker came into it. It only sees green, it only sees chlorophyll. It's got its own independent light source and plants have their own signature and these lights pulsating down all the time. If it sees something green, that has its own individual sign signature so that the pulse is coming back, it sends a different pulse, it says that's green, turns on a nozzle, just sprays that weed. And that technology's really had a big dent on our glyphosate usage. We used to use about 24,000 litres of glyphosate a year and we reduced that by half. And that's about, depending on the, the, the glyphosate price at the time, but you know, it's, it's over $100,000 per annum savings on our farm. Learn more about how you can make Precision Ag work by visiting precisionagworks.com.